Hola and bienvenidos everybody. My name is Nitpick and today I am going to be listening to, I believe it's pronounced Elveti. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's correct. I have very little information about this band. I just saw that it was suggested to me in the comments of one of my videos and I figured why not? Let's just check it out. So here we are and let's just jump right in. First of all, <laughs> did I see a hurdy-gurdy, <laughs> right? Did I see a hurdy-gurdy? And I, I saw a violin. It's still, I would say, uncommon, but I was expecting like just purely heavy metal and that was it. This is, this is different. This is like folk style is, it, it's, it is, I, speechless. As you can see, I'm speaking like a bumbling idiot right now. We're going back. I, I need to talk over what I saw because I can't even remember half the things I saw. So, hurdy gurdy. We got a violinist. Dude. Yes. I just love how that colors this up. And do we have a, a, a five? Right? And her voice. And uh, yes. Yes. And a Of the 
Yes. Okay. Wait. I need a moment. <laughs> I just. Wow. <laughs> I, there was no place to stop. I did not want to stop that. That was pure gold. Pure gold. Throw me in, coach. I know how to play a five. Throw me in. I want to be a part of this. Oh, I'm probably not worthy. Oh, just come on. We, it started right here. It started right here. We have to go back. The hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> Who'd have known that the hurdy-gurdy would add just enough touch to this? I was just like, this is, this is lovely. It adds just enough of the, like, oh, the tone quality of a hurdy-gurdy is just beautiful. Like, I don't know if you got, if anyone knows how a hurdy-gurdy works, but like, it's kind of like peculiar, I guess, because like, Unlike a violin, like a violin, you pull the hairs of the bow across a string and it vibrates. Um, and, and it pulls the string because it's rosined up. Like rosin's a sticky substance that helps grab the string and pull and you get the tone quality. A hurdy-gurdy has strings on the inside and it's got a little like a disc that turns so when you turn the wheel it vibrates the strings so that's like that's how that works so you can play like chords you can also play chords on a violin but like you know a hurdy-gurdy you've got the little keys that you can press i'm not exactly sure how that works i just know that's the gist of how a hurdy-gurdy works but the fact that we also have a bazooki that's the guitar that looks like a teardrop with a rounded back it's i was like what and you can hear it you can hear all these instruments. And the fact that the, we had a, a fife, we have a fife playing along with the vocals and it's just coloring the vocals like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then this, the, the guy who's doing the growling singing, he plays the fife too. I was like, bro, you're so cool. Like you guys are so cool. This is so cool. I want to go back. We got to watch this again. <laughs> It's like, 
we just kept adding more like the fact that there was also a harp and i'm assuming it's the celtic harp like it it's smaller because it's a it's in the lap right so it's not like an actual full-sized harp with the pedals but like the fact that we had two like fifes we had a larger fife with them which i'm assuming when the fife is bigger it's usually in lower pitch and then we had the singer the growling singer i don't know what the correct terminology for that kind of singing i don't want to say screamo because that is not it this is something else but like he was playing a smaller fife which means it's probably it was probably a direct octave above either that or he was transposing but you got that octave between both of them and it was amazing sorry i keep focusing on them too because as a flutist like i'm immediately like I want to do this. Please let me do this. Like this, I have always wanted to be in a rock band. I've always wanted to be in a metal band. I don't care what kind of band it is. I just wanted to play flute or some kind of fife or whatever. Throw me in coach. I just want to be cool. I want to make good music. So anyway, but let me focus on some other things too. Let me, let me, I want to, we need to highlight every single member of this band because oh my gosh. The, the talent in this band. So not only we do we have a singer who's got a gorgeous, gorgeous voice in like she her ability to hit pitches and like obviously this is a studio recording. I've never I've never heard them live. I'm assuming their live stuff is pretty good too. But like her voice and her I, I don't even know if it's like necessarily the accent but she's got a specific it's like very celtic style singing and it's gorgeous it's cool how it just fits into the style even if it's like metal like it's so cool and then the guitarists just like rip into shreds in this song and it's like they're the showcase of talent between both of them like both of them are just working their way around the guitar it's amazing and the fact that they could harm harmonized together like oh my god and the drummer like the drummer immediately coming out blazing just like fire underneath that the opening and the just going it's sick it's just sick and then when those sol the soloing was happening he was playing with time a little bit like just trying to make you feel like oh oh just kidding uh, yeah now i'm gonna give it back oh no i'm gonna take it back and just kidding, now we're moving on. It's so cool. And then we have the violin. I believe it's a violin. I sometimes, I always want to make sure if it's a violin or a viola. I'm not sure. But the violin really, or viola, colored the sound so beautifully. It added a lot to that. And the hurdy-gurdy. I don't think I've ever seen a hurdy-gurdy in real life. I've only ever seen it when I play like Sea of Thieves. And now I've seen one in a music video. And then we had the bazooki. Like, and it colored the sound so well at the beginning. I was just like, what on earth? You gotta be kidding me. I also just love the fact too that like, and yes, it's me being a woman, whatever, but it's nice seeing women just like getting down heavy metal style is fun. I love that because I can see myself in them and it makes me happy. I'm not gonna say the chord progression's simple. It's a little more complex because I they have the instrumentation to work around that. So they have a lot happening here that they can kind of like create more complex music. The the guy playing the bodron, I love that. I just had to throw that in there. Sorry, like I completely forgot. I've played a some Irish flute music with a Bodron player before and it like without the Bodron it would have made those performances boring and it just adds like a different texture to the music and I love that. It's so cool. I am so glad this was thrown out in my comments. I I cannot wait to check out more. As usual, I love to continue the conversation about music, so feel free to leave a comment down below. Have you ever seen Elveti live? Or, or what do you think I missed in this recording? What do you think I should check out next? Also, if you're interested, I have a Patreon. I have a link to that down below in the description. Basically, it's a place where I am inviting viewers to support me in this endeavor as a teacher and to create more unique content as well as checking out some other content that cannot be released on YouTube due to some parameters that makes it impossible and uh, also check out some things that I do as a teacher in my daily life and some maybe some small performances that I do in the future as well as guaranteed reaction videos so if that tickles your fancy at all please feel free to click on that. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>